but you can't miss something that you never did know. Living in a nursery town. Living in a nursery town. Try as I might, I never turn it down. Living in Thank you very much. My name is Griffin Wenton. I'm real glad to be here. I'm excited to hear Possum Fence. I've been looking forward to it all day. I'm not from Nashville, but I live there now, and this is a song about how it's kind of nice to get the hell out of Nashville every now and then and come to Black Mountain, North Carolina, <laughs> or wherever it is. tricks on me cause I wish I was back in Tennessee instead of sitting here on Folly Beach with half a bottle of Escalon I couldn't find the truth in that whole state the moon was made of neon and when it fell fake the movers move and the shakers shake when they think you can make them a dollar so I drove south I drove east over the Trying to put some space between myself and the person I sell. I did for my help.
drive fast right past the things that held me back With an empty bottle, a stolen hat, a tune, and a story to tell Kiss somebody here by whether or not it's me, but I really kind of hope it's me, and I hope you hope so too. I hope you kiss somebody you care about whether or not it's me, but I really kind of hope it's me, and I hope you hope so too. Like a stray cat slipping through backyard. Hopping fences when the dogs bark. I know it can be a little hard to find some way you feel safe. So you keep on moving through the shadows and the mud, licking your wounds and drawing blood until you find a home that will sustain. And I hope you kiss somebody you care about with an old night it's me. But I really kind of hope it's me. can argue you might wish I was more serene but I never hurt you never on purpose at least but I know what you got traveling on your mind I miss you like hell but I never keep you from your horizons if you land far away from me just do me a favor and find someone who treats Kiss somebody you care about with an old night it's me. But I really kind of hope it's me. And I hope you hope so too. I hope you kiss somebody you care about with an old night it's me.
heard this song from my sister the other day. Um, she's always been younger than me, but she's always been a lot smarter than me too somehow. They know me by name, fat moves drive through line. If I eat this way long, I'll have a heart attack by 35. Megan cooks us dinner whenever she's in town. She fix rice and carrots and chickpeas and kale and Brussels sprouts. Said I'd feel great if I could cook like this, but I can hardly work a spoon. She says if you work hard at it, it ain't that hard to do. Took smoke them if you got them a bit too literally. Now when I wake up in the morning, I have to remember how to breathe. My mama put them down the day she learned I was on the way. Now when I sneak out back, I might as well slap her in the face. I say I tried to quit a hundred times, but I can't seem to follow through. She says if you work hard at it, it ain't that hard. I'm really terrible at cooking. It's a pretty basic thing you got to be able to know how to do to stay alive, but I'm not very good at it. And I uh, ought to be by now. I've got no reason not to be. And uh, a buddy of mine yesterday he invited me over to his house. We never see each other. And he's like, yeah, let's come over. I'll have a cookout or something. I was like, man, i got to learn how to do that. I, I, I just don't know how. And he said, you know, just get a Google machine or <laughs> you know, whatever. Very easy to learn. But for whatever reason, I, I don't educate myself on the matter. And, it's a song about how I'm bad at cooking. I made a new friend, then I forgot his name. Sitting in a bar, half heartedly watching a game. 
blamed it on the speaker sitting right by my ear. Playing Tom Petty, a little too loud to hear, but we both know my mind is just riddled with holes. As soon as something comes in, then right out it goes. And the plate on the counter, it's cracked. It's chipped and the toast setting on it is burnt to crisp. There's milk on the table, spilt right out the dish. But nobody cared to cry. You always say it's a shame I didn't go off to school. I'd be the best vet this town's seen if I wanted to. I'd have a little practice on Geranium Street. I'd always make sure we had plenty to eat. But I put those babies right into your hands. So I put mine to work fixing belts on sedans. And the plate on the counter, it's cracked and it's chipped and the toast sitting on it. It's burnt to a crisp and there's milk on the table. Spilled right out the dish and nobody cared to cry. I said I do when I should have said I guess but the chapel's full you're so proud of that dress and it's so goddamn nice to have someone to cry with someone to lean on and someone to fight with the years they go by and you still know my name but the person you're calling for is not the same and the plate on the counter it's cracked and it's chipped and the toast sitting on it it's burnt to a crisp and there's milk on the table spilled right out the dish and nobody cared to cry Nobody cared to cry. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. I tried for a really long time to get rid of my accent. Um, I'm being from Middle Tennessee. I didn't love sounding Southern all the time, for one reason or another. I remember I was at Bonnaroo and I was like maybe 15 years old max. I was probably younger than that. There's some really pretty girls from Ohio sitting right behind us at a concert, and uh, they were all in college and I was still in high school. And I just thought they were the cutest things in the entire world. And I kept saying y'all. Like, I'd be like, where are y'all going? Where are y'all from? What shows y'all seen this weekend? All this different stuff. And they thought that was adorable. And I was so embarrassed by it. <laughs> um, you know, and then, you know, it's, it's, there's lots of reasons, especially, you know, I got a buddy who says, you ought to be able to be proud of where you're from. And I'm from a place that's kind of like that. Uh, I am in some ways, and in other ways I'm not. And for whatever reason, I was kind of ashamed. And, uh, as I got a little bit older, I uh, really am kind of glad that I didn't lose everything because, you know, like I said, there's a lot to be proud of. And uh, my dad had all these crazy catchphrases coming up, and all the catchphrases reminded me of that, just that kind of goofy way of talking we got in McMinnville, Tennessee. And uh, this is one of his catchphrases. It's called, I don't chew my cabbage twice.
Eight years old, I was playing hide and seek with a friend from two doors down. When he ran to the post, shut the door, locked me out of my house. He locked me out of my house, Lord, he locked me out of my house. I got so mad I threw a rock at the window and the glass shattered on the ground. The glass shattered on the ground, Lord, the glass shattered on the ground. They were shining like the tears from the whooping I got when the glass shattered on the ground. I don't take on any fight I don't think I can win. And I don't break anything I don't think I can fix. You can take or leave my advice. But I don't chew my cabbage twice. I was 20 years old when I hopped on the boat that took me to the Philippines. They told us not to go near the jungle at night or we'd disappear and never be seen. We'd disappear and never be seen. Lord, we'd disappear and never be seen. So I hid in my room with a needle and a spoon and I disappeared differently. I disappeared differently. Lord, I disappeared differently. Like a rabbit from a hat, don't know how I got back when I disappeared differently. I don't take on any fight I don't think I can win. And I don't take a hit of anything I don't think I can kick. You can take or leave my advice. I don't chew my cabbage twice. Me and your mama didn't know each other well, but we sure got along all right. Started coming over a couple times a week, and then you came along one night. You came along one night, Lord, you came along one night. I've never been so scared in my life as when you came along one night. I don't take on any fight, I don't think I can win. There's not a second that I spent with you that I wouldn't spend again. You can take or leave my advice. I don't chew my cabbage twice. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate you. That's not to say that trying to lose my accent was necessarily all bad. There are some things that I reevaluated, and I'm kind of glad I did. And some of them I'm still working on. A new song about one of those. You don't meet nice girls in coffee shops, so I'm at the American Legion. Let some pretty Presbyterian gal tell me about how she's feeling. She pats her pot belly, turn her back, beat in the boom bap, don't want to go back. But she got a dog to feed, she about to leave when she looked at me and said, I told myself that I wasn't going to do this. I told myself that I wasn't going to do this. I told myself that I wasn't going to do this. 
But I can't help it when I meet someone like you She put on that oldest red and we crawled into her silk bed and thousand thread count. Said she'd been hurt before, but she did not say how. I told her there was nothing from her, I expect. She teared up, stood up, and turned those lights out of respect and said, Just lay back, baby, while I do this. Just lay back, baby, while I do this. Just lay back, baby, while I do this I never thought I'd meet someone like you She got book learning, she's been earning Got a job with benefits And we go out to eat weekend retreat She pick up the check Gonna buy me a watch and chain She's gonna buy me a watch and chain. She's gonna buy me a watch and chain. And when we're standing in the checkout lane, she says, I, I love you, baby, let me do this. I love you, baby, let me do this. I love you, baby, let me do this. I never thought I'd meet someone like you. She's a good girl, but we were acting up in a black of cold. She's a good girl, she got a mortgage she can't afford. She's a good girl, but she makes you might want to be bad at night. She's a good girl, she just don't think she's worth your time. She's a good girl, you bet she fell for every line. She's a good girl. She was down, I made her mind. I told myself that I was I did bring some CDs down with me. Some of the songs I'm playing tonight are on them. A lot of them aren't. But if you want one, come up and talk to me. I'll make you a deal. I'm just glad to be here in Black Mountain, y'all. This is real fun for me. I really appreciate you guys. This place is awesome.
I used to really be mad at myself for writing so many damn sweet songs. And uh, I kind of wish they'd come around a little sooner, a little quicker nowadays, but uh, <laughs> they don't turn up as much anymore. But this is on that. Am I allowed to love you like this? Like a secret, like a prayer, like a wish. There's a blood-stained barb on the fence outside, shaking in the breeze in the morning light. While I'm left here to tremble while thinking of your kiss. Did all my searching lead me to your arms? All my tricks and lies and cheats and charms. What's the color of the rain when it's rolling in? If it don't look the same when it hits your skin. So camouflage your heart, lest I see it once again. And only fools love morning when they're crying in the afternoon. Only God loves forever, though many claim to. My chest cannot contain my beating heart. My tongue will not corral this listless lark. I'm more than I can handle. Ask my bruises, scabs, and brambles. I'm a thistle flower bloom and catch your eye and leave you with stars. So skip to my loo, my darling. Am I allowed to love you like this? Like a secret, like a prayer, like a wish? Thank you very much. Same brand, different pack Same story, different act Same four walls, different day Same street, different cars Same drink, different bar That you hear this old town ain't the same I only live here cause it's what I know There's no wandering in my eyes I ain't a pilgrim or a rolling stone I ain't nothing but left behind Nothing to live behind. 
different sight, same crew, different job, same tools, different clock, but the hands move just as slow. Different birds, same line, different clouds, same sky. They roll on by, remind me I got no place to go. I only live here cause it's what I know. There's no wandering in my eye. I ain't a pilgrim or a rolling stone. I ain't nothing to live behind. Same guitar, different string, same tree, different leaves, same lawn, deeper breath, same smile, longer beard, same face, bigger ears, same dreams of you that I don't wake up looking for you. I think I'd do maybe uh, one, one more, one or two more. What are you thinking? Yeah, okay. For any public school in the yellow hammer state, you fought for every cent wearing homemade pageant gowns. Your mama never was too easy to please. They ain't been talking since you said you planned to leave. Daddy didn't understand how you could turn that money down and there are places in the rear view as you're driving away and you never really knew why you just couldn't stay till now ain't it funny how those people we thought we were are just like those strangers Scattered across the patio, telling lies and getting stoned and laughing at their own jokes. 
Ain't it funny how you kind of just sneak up on yourself? Your sister played a Japanese SG. She'd often bare her teeth and sing the foulest words she knew. She'd go out to the net every night. Some other piss soaked Birmingham dive with a pink mohawk and a Danzig looking scrapper hanging round. But now she's buying Gatorade for soccer games with a husband who's never had to watch his weight till now. funny how those people we thought we were are just like those strangers scattered across the patio telling lies and getting stoned and laughing at their own jokes ain't it funny how you kind of just sneak up on yourself you guys this is my last one i'm griffin winton again y'all make sure you take care of steph back behind the bar there she's working hard for y'all i can't wait to see possum fence thank you everybody for having me out i really do appreciate it um, it's been fun i really like this place i'm glad i came um try to end on something up, upbeat i guess My friends, how I like my drive food caramel macchiato. Cheap and shameless and sweet. I make a new friend every week. I like my liquor, how I like my women, and I like my women strong. Life gets hard and they get knocked down, but they're never gonna be knocked down very long. to learn my name I'm just one more we can shake but don't go saying what a shame when you realize it's in vain
If you steal this song, just play it real loud so all your friends can hear it. Unless you think it'll kill the vibe, cause I don't wanna be interfering. I like my friends, how I like my drive through caramel macchiato. Sound great right now, but I don't know what I'll be looking for tomorrow. Sued. It's like <laughs> <laughs> who makes checks mix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh oh. <laughs> Nabisco is the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Uh, howdy. Um, I'm Hunter, and this is Junior Dog, uh, Junior Ledford, JR Ledford, Eric Ledford. You got to ask him, man. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call me is fine. <laughs> uh, this song is called Tow Truck Driver. We're pretty excited about it. Um, we're the we're the the bottom half of Possum Fence. The lower three feet. Where the worms be? Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yep. Almost protruding out the ground. You know, you you really can't. You gotta, you gotta put a possum fence pretty deep, and uh, you gotta make sure the footers are, are good and formed. Cause possums get to shaking the top of the fence; that sucker can just fall right over. They get to having a good time. Pour the form. Here's a, a song called "Tow Truck Driver" that uh, Junior actually wrote the latter bit of, and and revived and made a cool song again. So. Here we go.
get uh, can I get less of my uh, acoustic and a little more of junior in my I'm real hot up here on my keep pulling out money instead of a set list. <laughs> Wish that was always a problem. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, this one here is a hot dam. We've got uh, this song to play. Hey, yeah, that's perfect. And a couple more. Uh, here we go.
forgot what was next. I, I like how I fold this paper up in little bitty pieces, so I gotta pull it back out and unfold its little bitty pieces here. It's uh, just to see Glenda Faye. <laughs> Couldn't remember two words. Here we go. Now I gotta remember all these. I hope that has re uh, reinstalled your confidence in in the rest of these lyrics. Cause they're all here. Uh, looks like it's all hair. There's brains in here too. I say that and then I fold it up into more pieces than it was in last time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's see if I can find it. I wrote this song uh, uh, in my Jeep. Um, I couldn't have been more than about 300 yards from here. Uh, I was really happy about it at the time, which is funny for writing a sad song, but here it goes. <laughs> Glenda Faye, Glenda Faye, I love you so damn much, why do you treat me this way, I'd sing you the pretty song I could do, just give me some words to say, Glenda Faye. Harmonies and bugles and dew drops and gold feather chains. Lemons and silk I should not be ashamed. Except the love that you'd once given me. I was blessed forever and free. Then the fame. Why did you? tell you, honey, that I've finally forgotten your name. I hope you don't mind the one that I've borrowed and I've changed the way you did my heart just the same. Linda Faye Linda Faye I love you so damn much Why 
That's why some fellows from Judah Cola Blue sitting over here. You dirty fuckers, you. That too. Hey, what's going on, fellas from Judah Cola Blue? Good to see hey, you. Good to see you. Howdy. 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 Thank you for coming out tonight. We're all happy to see you here. So. This one's called Lonesome Truck Driving Man. in my hand I'm a lonesome truck driving man horse I ride she got 18 wheels she ain't pretty but I keep the dust kicked off her heels keep her wound up tight she sleeps good at night seeing everything sweet corn to cotton She's 27,700 pounds of metal. I keep one hand on the reins and the right foot on that pedal. Fast as I can drive, I'll leave your memories behind. I'm a lonesome truck driving man. Oh, 
called Wild Tim and uh, Tornadoes or whatever. It's a uh, it's really hard for me to remember, so. chickens and the bums well, the only thing they do is ask the new folks where they're from yeah, it's wild Tim the tornado and he's baking in the sun he's just sitting on a suitcase staring down the tracks and waiting for his train to come day his mom and daddy loved the world they raised the boys that way the youngest one was little sam the piano child was tim everything was perfect back before the wind blew in at first it stirred the sand then the house came off the ground no one found the bodies but the roof flew clear to town Somehow two young brothers lived while mom and daddy died. Tim held on to little Sam, but neither young and cried. He got split up heading back to town in two white vans. Old oh, Tim lost his little brother once the winds came back again. Twister yet just weird and wild and broke. They liked him while he played his songs, despised him when he spoke. There was only one around who even fancied how he looked. That she was kind of broken to her mama named her Brooke. That was back before this tried to throw her under plow. That's another story more than we got time for now. Just know that they was getting on pretty well there for a while. Old Tim's forehead tightened, man, he came real close to smiling. He was zipping up his pants, there came a rustle through the trees. From then on, Tornado Tim believed the wind comes in threes. Woo! tornado sitting on his luggage box three-piece suit feathered hat and key piano socks his knuckles turned as white as bone knees shaking in his slacks when he finally heard the rumble coming down the railroad tracks his hat flew off his hair blew back and tim lost all his breath 
Cause just ahead that roaring train was swirling winds of death. Everything he owned, including his own earthly form, was swept up into nothingness, that black from which he come. He took that final train ride, you know the one that never ends. The wind don't mind no rule of threes, just ask Tornado Tim. Thank y'all for being here. We just want to let you know that uh, Possum Fence is a it's a 12-step program. You know, we, we we come on with a with with a cover, you know, and then and then the, the next step is you know, we we give you the boys with just the acoustics, and then we're gonna come on the third step that you're about to experience is gonna be us up here with Junior. We're gonna give you that, and then the fourth step you get we're gonna do the whole thing, and then. You got to pay for the rest of the steps. You know, you come out of the festival; it's gonna be a whole beautiful thing. Yeah, the other the other ones, but we got what we got. So here's Junior for you. Well, hey, as Colton or. Fabulous bass player just announced me. I'm Junior, y'all. And welcome to this three-piece version of Possum Fence for the evening. As soon as we get done with this, we're going to have the whole band up. But we're, we're going we're gonna to jam this out as a three-piece right quick for a couple of songs for y'all. This first one's one I wrote called Federal Crime. <laughs>
think so. This next song I wrote about eight years ago. Um, it's one of my first songs I ever wrote, but I've changed it like three times, and it's like the one I'm most happy with. It's called 15 Miles. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's another fast blues song for you guys and me. It's called Long Gone. It's one of my favorite, like, fast. It's also one of those, like, I'm really doing for, like, ex-girlfriend songs, and this is one of my favorite <laughs> ones. <laughs> of the show with a cover and uh hope you guys like it <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, y'all. The whole band's coming up next. After a fiver and another beer, like not immediately, but we're getting there. <laughs>
Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? I know how it looks up here. It looks like we're having practice because I got all these chord charts out and lyrics. We're not having practice. Uh, this is the real deal. This is the real deal. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You look wholly unprepared. Well, nobody's ever accused me of being holy before. But I've heard unprepared quite a bit. <laughs> Prepared quite a bit. We're gonna throw this one aside. It's called There's a Party in My Pants and You're Invited. That's a real song. You can look it up. We're just not gonna play it tonight because it's too steamy for this crowd. None of y'all are having that party. We were really right gonna now, have y'all somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna start with an original since I've fumbled with all these chords enough, right? <laughs> talking about. Can't break. 
came out with the big guns. See, we, uh, we were like, hey, that's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> uh, I think we all just realized at the same time we should have waited for that one to last. Plays the quicker we're done, buddy. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Uh, <laughs> I hate to tell you, this time it might be true, fellas. Um, I've never in my life tried to sing at all like Paul McCartney or John Lennon. I've sang many times like Ringo Starr. <laughs> but I wasn't going for it. <laughs> Ringo, sorry, buddy. I, he might be watching I Am ABL right now. I don't know what he does with his time these days. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone.
guitar string. That was not what fucked that up. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> so we have this thing when me and Hunter are touring as a duo piece, when Hunter's changing the string, I usually just gonna play a song. Buddy Griffin, coming all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Oh yeah. So uh, Griffin's the kind of dude that he's only gonna have to play somewhere like this one time, um, and he's gonna get asked back. And we're gonna see a lot more of Griffin, I, I believe. Uh, fantastic man, fantastic.
I'm a little too big for my britches on Honky Tonk Man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go back down to a Tonka Truck boy. <laughs> we'll come back with Honky Tonk Man next week, fellas. Try again. <laughs> right. let's, do, let's, do, let's do one I know. This is a Yellow Feather cover. Let's do 
same issue with Dan. He's trash. You want me to unplug? Maybe my volume. Didn't realize I had one inside over there. All right. Uh, this one's called Big Rig, and it's our final tune for the night. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we got it in here.
Possum Fence. Thanks, Griffin, for coming all the way out here, man. You rock it. Uh, let's get Griffin up here to do something with these guys. Griffin, come up and jam with these guys. I'm going to sit down because I don't know how to play a dang guitar, but he does, buddy. Come on. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. y'all. Give it up for everybody that played on this stage tonight. Griffin, Frank, Colton, 
Hunter, and myself, and I'm Junior. One more, one more. Shit, all right. <laughs> Love you.